Well, I am under attack with uh, cucumber beetles. It happens. There's a lot of pests in my garden at times, and these are ones that I have a hard time preventing. But I can, when I spot them, start to do all the measures to stop the damage that they're doing. Now, I do everything 100% organic here in my garden, and this is really simple stuff that you can do yourself, and it helps. Now, the cucumber beetles, I'll try to get some images while we're down there. They're elongated, kind of look like a ladybug with little spots on their back. Not quite, but like I said, I'll try to get some images to show you. Um, they can devastate your plants. They will eat up everything, and they also spread powdery mildew all over. All of your cucumbers, melons, squashes, all of that. So to prevent all of that, I do two steps. All right, and the first step is very simple. I just get myself some milk. Um, doesn't matter what variety it is, just good old wholesome milk. Uh, one part milk to four parts water. So this is two cups of milk that I'm using, and that means I'm gonna have to add eight cups of water to my sprayer. Now I have a brand new sprayer because I'm gonna be using this for the milk, and then I'm gonna be adding fertilizer to it separately. But the other sprayer that I'm gonna be using has my neem oil. Anytime you go to use neem oil, just read your bottle and it's going to tell you the directions on how to mix it. And it depends on the size of the sprayer that you're using. Some people just use the little handheld squirt bottles and that works just as well. I happen to just like these big sprayers because I have a lot of plants and you'll see that. Um, so yeah, read your directions on your neem oil and make sure that you actually get the correct amount. But all I'm doing is I'm going to pour the milk in this and then we're going to go ahead and add some water and go down to the garden and get this stuff sprayed. I'm spraying with the milk first. That's going to prevent all the powdery mildew. It's going to start to kill it off if I have any, and it'll stop all that spreading. And then I'm going to come back in a little while after that has dried, and I'm going to go through with the neem oil. All right, so again, all I'm doing is pouring in my two cups of milk. Most people would only need one cup. I have a lot of plants that I'm going to be spraying, so I want to make sure that, you know, I have plenty in there. And I'm just going to fill this up with eight cups of water. All right, so I've got my solution in here. I've got my sprayer ready. And it's time to just pump it up and get it ready. And we're gonna haul it down to the garden. Okay, so this cucumber plant's been hit pretty hard. I'm not seeing any at the moment. It may just be like a quiet day for them. I don't know. But you can see where I have powdery mildew starting. That's why I'm spraying the milk. Cucumber leaves should not have discoloration like this. Squash leaves will, but this is powdery mildew. So if I don't get it under control, it's gonna take over my entire plant. And boy oh boy, did I forget to pick a cucumber. That guy's huge. Anyway, so I'm gonna spray this all down completely head to toe with the spray. And then we'll move forward from that once it dries to start doing the uh, neem oil and get this prevented. So I've got my sprayer in hand and all I'm doing is starting from the bottom up and I'm going to spray every leaf with the milk. You want to get it nice and drippy wet. You can kind of see it when I get to this bigger one. You want it to be nice and drippy like this because you're covering every inch that you can to prevent this powdery mildew. Now, if you have a good nozzle sprayer, it can turn upside down and you can go under the leaves as well. And that's a good preventative way too because it's not just on the tops, it can be on the bottoms too. Now, my suggestion to you guys is, is do not be scared of this milk. It does not hurt your plants. It's actually good for them. It's a form of calcium. And if you have plants that are yellowing really bad, this will actually help prevent some of that yellowing. And if you wanted to, you could come through and clip off any of these really bad looking leaves. because all plants can be pruned anyway, so it's not a big deal. But that's what I'm gonna do, is I'm just going to coat this plant. Because it's next to the squash, I have potential of that bug walking through it as well. So I just wanna spray down all these squash leaves and make sure that they get nice and coated too, because the last thing I want is for this powdery mildew to spread through all my plants. I also have the honeydew over here on the opposite side, and I'm not seeing much damage or anything to it. Just a couple spots here and there. But again, you just want to prevent this from happening. So just come through and spray these as well. So basically any of the plants that are touching or in close 
proximity, you just need to make sure that they get a nice coating so that you can prevent all this from spreading. I have lots of little pests going on in here today, so today is a perfect day to start spraying. But all of this is a pumpkin plant. That's normal discoloration. That's not really a powdery mildew. If I felt like I needed to, I could spray these plants as well. Uh, just give them a good look over. You'll be able to see the difference. If all the leaves kind of match the same pattern, then you're fine. If it's kind of sporadic here and there, like I showed you on the cucumbers, then you know it's really not a good thing. It's the powdery mildew. This one actually has potato beetles on it. Well, I guess it's a good thing I don't have potato beetles. But it's another cucumber plant. It's not showing too many signs. So I'm still going to just preventatively spray it down just to make sure that it's all good. It's better to be on top of these things than to wait too long. Now, I'm going to let this all dry. It's not even noon here. <clears throat> but I wanted to come out and get everything sprayed. There's something squeaking in my field. The sun's going to help dry this up pretty quickly, so I'm not going to have any major issues with that. And then all I have to do is come back out in a little while with the neem oil and get that sprayed. But I'm just going to do the same thing with the neem oils. Just come through and spray it all down and get rid of all the bugs. I found one. Now they can look a little different depending on your area. There's a couple different varieties of cucumber beetles, but there's one. That one just hid. But yeah, they look like ladybugs, just longer. So I need to get these sprayed as well. All right, so these, these are the Armenian cucumbers, and they are hanging out in here pretty heavy right now. So I'm going to go ahead and give those a nice big spray. Yeah, look at that little guy. Nasty little suckers. Oh, so yeah, lots of spraying. Okay, so I'm done spraying. I sprayed off most of the plants. I didn't even use everything that's in there. I'm probably just going to come back out and check just to see if there's anything else that I missed. I think I may have missed a plant over here, my big giant monster squash, but that's okay. I'll go back out and check it in a minute. I'm not going to show you guys how to use the neem oil itself because it's just like using this. It's in a spray bottle. Like I said, just read your bottle directions and it'll tell you your ratio from neem oil to water, but I recommend adding dish soap because sometimes they don't say that, and the dish soap helps with the binding. Now the reason why I don't just spray neem oil is because if I sprayed an oil on all those plants that have powdery mildew, it seals it in and it spreads it because the way the oil works, it's going to manifest it and make it grow even bigger. So spraying with the milk first kind of helps deter that growth and then spraying with the neem oil gets rid of the bugs. So that's just what I recommend. That's how I've always done it. That's what I do all the time. and. Yeah, I have squash plants all year round, and I have cucumbers until they go bitter. And I don't have a whole lot of problems and issues with those. So I recommend the one cup to four cup ratio. That works the best, in my opinion. You can go a little bit stronger if you wanted to, but it just can get a little smelly if it's too much milk. Because, you know, milk in a hot sun gets stinky. Um, so yeah, I would just keep it as diluted as possible just to make sure that you don't have a smelly garden because nobody wants to walk out to that. But try it. Give it a try. Go back in an hour or so after it's dried and then spray all your neem oils and that'll start to kill off the bugs. If that does not work for you, like sometimes it doesn't get all the bugs for me, then I use diatomaceous earth and it's a powdered form, but I only spray that in the evenings, in the late evenings. After all the bumblebees have gone and settled to bed, then I go through and I spray that. And that gives it a little bit of time because I'm scared that that might hurt the bees. That's the only one that I'm worried about. But it's still organic, food grade, diatomaceous earth, and that works well too. So give it a try. See how it works for you guys. I hope that it helps you just like it does with me. And I just want to say thank you for dropping by and seeing the video. If you're new, hit subscribe and leave me a comment and I'll get to it as soon as I can. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.